In this video, I'm going to talk about formula columns within Power Apps. Now, formula column is a simple formula column which allow you to basically uh, use it in kind of a calculated column fashion. But in this video, I'm going to cover uh, something advanced to that. So uh, if you see, this is my uh, hospital management system table and it has a couple of fields over here like hospital ID, capacity, contact number, hospital name, location, uh, and so on and so forth. Now there are a couple of calculated columns or a formula column which we have created called as action required and state. Uh, now let me go ahead and delete this column, okay? So I don't need this column. Uh, this was just part of the previous demo and what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna just remove this column, okay? Uh, now state, uh, I can, I'll, I'll just keep state for time being. Uh, what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna create a new column, okay? So first click on new, and then you can create a new column. Now the data type which I'm interested is formula, okay? Now formula column is basically, it allows you to generate a column based on the value in other columns, okay? Now here, if you click on this arrow, then you will see something called as get formula suggestion. So instead of typing formula, the first one here, if you select type a formula, you need to know the formula, you need to author the formula, and then you can use that. But think about it like if you do not know the syntax and if you want to use English like sentences to generate a formula, uh, I'd say with the help of co-pilot or artificial intelligence, then how do you go about and do that? Okay, so let me select get formula suggestions, okay? Now, so in order to enable formula suggestions, uh, which is currently in preview, that feature, you need to navigate to the environment. So I'll go into the environment in Power Platform Admin Center and I'll click on settings. Now under product, under features, I need to enable one switch, which will allow me to view the AI suggestions for formula columns. So if you see this third option over here, it says allow users to get AI suggestions when creating formula columns currently in preview. And you need to turn this on. And once that is on, whenever you create a column using formula, you will be presented with an option to use AI suggestions. Suggestions, okay. Now, uh, it, it tells you basically as an example, quantity sold times plus unit, okay? So take for example, in our case, we have a capacity column, okay? Now, if we want to, uh, uh, if, if say some directive comes in, if it says that, oh, all the hospital within the United States will be upgraded into three times their capacity, okay? So if you want a column uh, which will uh, have those information, then we can say that a new capacity, so that's a new capacity column, which we can create and we can say, capacity capacity times three okay so if that's the case so we want a column which which has a new capacity and that's capacity times three okay now here you need to click on this button okay so click on this button and it will start generating formula for you automatically it says this record dot capacity into three so let me select this okay or maybe i can copy this so let me copy this okay and here Let me paste this, okay? So when you paste it, just click type a formula and then you paste it over here. So this is how you basically generate a new uh, column, okay? Based on the suggestions received from artificial intelligence, okay? So if I click on save, watch what happens. So what it's gonna do, is gonna take this capacity column and then multiply it with three, with a new capacity. So if you see 100, it has gone to 300. 150 gone to 450, 250 gone to 750. So this is how you basically generate a formula based on artificial intelligence. Okay. This is just one example. Okay. Now your text can be more complicated as well. Okay. So take for example, if you uh, want to uh, have a column basically with a state code. Okay. So if it is uh, New York, then the state code is NY. If it is California, the state code is CA. If it is Pennsylvania, then it is uh, PH, okay? So if that's the case, then what we are gonna do is like, maybe let's pick up this location column. Okay? Based on this location column, let's uh, generate a text, okay? So if I click on plus, and if I click on name, and I'll just call this as, okay, if I click on plus, then the display name over here, okay? So let me show you to create new column from here, okay? So if you click on columns, okay? Then from here as well, you can create a new column. And here I can call it as state code, okay? And the data type is formula, 
but we don't know the formula so we need to write in an english like sentence okay so i can switch into get formula suggestions and let me write a formula i'll say if location location is a column name okay if location is new york city then uh, value is ny okay else if location is what was the other location oh that was philadelphia then value is H. and if it is not both new york or philadelphia i'll just say else value is say california ca okay so i have just created this formula suggestion okay so if location is new york city then value is envoy else if location is philadelphia then value is ph else value is ca so let me click here and see what formula the system generates okay and yes it has generated now this time it's not if this is switch because now there are three conditions okay there is if if and then else so it has suggested as a switch condition okay so i'm okay with it i'll just copy this and once you copy this what you need to do again switch this back to formula type a formula and your formula is automatically generated so this is how it has generated this formula now again the next option is to click on save and let's see what the output gets generated. So going back to hospital management system table and the new column which we have generated called as state code. Um, okay, so let me type in the name, okay, state code. So click on save. And once you're done with it, see, it has generated New York, California, Pennsylvania. Okay, let me uh, put some new thing over here. And maybe I'll put some value. And this time, uh, location, I'd say Texas. Okay. Oh no, I'll say maybe San Jose. Okay. And it has picked up California. Okay. If it is again San Francisco, San Francisco, then it should, or, or maybe let's not take San Francisco, let's take Philadelphia. Philadelphia. And if I put the value as H009 and some hospital number, and it has picked up the value as PH. Okay, so this is how uh, basically it generates uh, the state code based on the formula. So that's it. So you can see the list of columns for this particular table. Now, here we have created a column called a state code. Now, if you see the column, it's a single line of text FX. So that means this is. A single line of text uh, is the output of that particular column and it is using formula unlike the one which you see over here location is just a single line of text okay so that means this indicates it has some sort of a formula attached to it now if you click on the column state code then it should show you the data type as single line of text and also the formula attached to it now you can go ahead and change the formula uh, based on your need and requirement uh, and once you're done with it, again, click on save, and then the system will automatically calculate the, uh, the formula column for your particular application. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically make use of uh, Copilot or artificial intelligence within the formula module uh, to generate a formula by typing English-like sentences, and then it generates a formula for you. Thanks for watching.